Hello everybody, this is Ring Gamer back to kick off round 4 for group A. And this could be a very pivotal round in this group. So, let's have a look at our fight card, shall we? At first, we have got Dexin looking to bounce back, taking a crack at Sunlight Rabbit. Then, we have Gold going up against Tabletop in Black Beauty. After that, we have, well, one of the surprise newcomers, Conciliatory Pass taking a crack at Rainbow. And then, we have a monster of a main event which could have massive implications for both of these guys. It is Asta taking on Cryo Nova. But we got three matches to get through first, so let's go on with our first matchup. Ooh, the Alpha Arena. Right, in the red corner for Dexin, we got Uteraptor. Dexin looking to bounce back after their first defeat in the tournament in round three. But they have had a good tournament so far. Sit currently sitting two and one. In all honesty, this could have been the main event as well, because both of these two have done well. In the blue corner for Sunlight Rabbit, we got the orange Triceratops, Sunlight Rabbit, a 3-0 newcomer, doing really well in this group. Have had some fine victories, and well, if they can get another one here, they go 4-0, that would be insane. But yeah, I think this will be their toughest test so far. Because Dexin's been really strong in this tournament. Oh, and that's a good start. The Uteraptor getting the biting wind off right off the bat. Right, we don't have Alpha Dinosaurs here, so there'll be no training advantages. But a good start there from Dexin. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Another tie. Ooh, but Sunlight Rabbit gets that next hit. It's a lightning strike. So that's one hit apiece from both of our guys. And it's been a pretty even start. Oh, that's another lightning strike from the Triceratops. And I think that might be lethal for Uteraptor. And it is. Hmm. Now an interesting turn of events, because coming in next for Dexin, we've got the Spinosaurus. Now, this Spinosaurus will have tight disadvantage against this trike and against Super Anchiceratops, which is inferred if it gets that far. So you do have to bear that in mind. So this Spinosaurus could be more of a liability than a help. Oh, that's not good. That's a banana surprise. Big hit from the Triceratops. Wee boosh. Black. Sunlight Rapid extending her lead. Oh, that's a tight. And Dexin, oh, it was a good start, but it's definitely Sunlight Rabbit on top now, and that Gatlin Spark is probably going to spell the end for Spinosaurus. Oh, wow. Really is the end. Well, it was more of a liability anyway. Right, coming in food for Dexin. We've got the Sorofagonus now. Dexin was 2-0 down against Conciliatory Pass. And that's this Sorofagonus pulled it right back to the point where Dexin could have won that match. So we will not count the fellow out yet. But Sunlight Rabbit has really romped this match so far, despite a good start from Dexin. Okay, there's the hit. Oh, God, come on! <laughs> Sliver of hell. Okay, but that tile will do it. And down goes the trike, but it certainly left its mark. Right, coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we've got a Patasaurus. Things looking really good for Sunlight Rabbit in this matchup, but they still have the Sorofagonax to deal with. Dun, dun. Bum. Bum. 
In fact, the win for Sunlight Rabbit, I think, would put them top 10... Well, before Black Beauty plays. But it would put a bit of pressure on them. And it would put a lot of daylight between themselves and the bottom four. Ooh, but Dexin starting to get some hits back. Sorofagonax, is it going to do it again? Oh, it's a firebomb! Is Dexin going to come back again? Massive hit from the Fagonax. Honestly, he should just start with this thing. <laughs> Wouldn't be 2 nil down. Oh my god, he killed it! Well, all of a sudden, it's Dexin with the momentum now. Right, coming in third for Sunlight Rabbit, we got Super Anky Ceratops, a Waker Mode on three. And, well, Sunlight Rabbit might need that Awaken Mode here just to get the win. Because Dexin really coming back into this. And, well, the Fagonus has even been hit. Well, it's been damaged, but it hasn't been hit. Oh, there's a hit from Anki Ceratops. Sunlight Rabbit getting that hit there. Crucial hit that could be, because the momentum's certainly with Dexin at the minute. Oh, hello, we got a death grind, we got a Tatijara dive. That's probably gonna drop the Faganax below half health, which means that Sunlight Rabbit will at least get the losing bonus point. And look at that! Right, that's twice. Can Dexin get a big hit on the board? Oh, it's a tie. Not what he wants. Needs a big hit here. And gets the big hit. It's a Magma Blast that Dexin's not defeated yet. Right, we'll have some Awaken action now. Well, there you go. Dexin getting himself a losing bonus point. That's the worst case scenario. But with the Awaken mode, the odds are definitely in Sunlight Rabbit's favour. A tie will do it. Dexin needs this hit to survive. Oh, he doesn't. You know, the Faganax again showed us why it's such a powerhouse but unfortunately it just had a bit too much to do and Sunlight Rabbit is going 4-0 in this tournament. Wow. What a debut for the rookie. <laughs> and Dexin will be sitting at 2-2 two two, but they will get the losing bonus point. Right, on to match number 2. Okie dokie. In the red corner. For gold. We have got the Stegosaurus gold winless in this tour. Oh, no, they got the beat conciliatory pass. Sitting at one and two so far in this tournament. And that's been a challenging tournament for them, to be fair. But they did get that one win. But it's going to be a big ask because in the blue corner, the Black Beauty, we have got Super Eel Karkiria. Awaker mode on three. Um, on this field, it favours Lightning Dinosaurs, which is good news for Black Beauty because they are Brighty Ceratops in second, so they're going to get terrain advantage as well. <laughs> well, this is an interesting match because if Gold wins, that definitely opens up Group A. But if Black Beauty gets the win, with... then that pretty much. I mean, it's not going to be 100%, but it's probably 90% certain that Black Beauty is going to be in the uh, knockout round. But it's been a steady start from the Steg so far. Oh, look at this! Well, I've accused Gold of being a slow starter in this tournament. And let's be honest, they have, but they come out of the blocks flying in this match. Massive hit from Gold. Oh, but the Eocark area does survive for the Awaken Mode. Ooh, if Black Beauty can get a hit here, it will do massive damage. Oh, they can't. And Gold dodges the bullet there and takes a decent lead. And will have type advantage over Brachyceratops. Ah, oh, look, he's happy. <laughs> he's a happy stag. Right, coming in next for Black Beauty, we've got a Brachyceratops. It's a Blitz-type Brachyceratops, but because it does have the terrain advantage, it will get the terrain hit first, which is going to be a crit, and then it'll go for its two crits with the Blitz effect. Well, Black Beauty's going to need some crits here to get back in this, because it's been a really strong start for gold. But 
you know, Black Beauty does get the train advantage hit here, so they will get the next hit. Not much of a hit though, but the Anion Guerra die will help. Right, time for the two crits. Oh, there's a tie. But remember, this Brachyceratops, it does have Plasma Anchor. Ooh, gets that crit though. Some good shots here from Black Beauty. But Stegosaur is answering back with a shot of his own. And Earth Barrier as well. Gold continuing their impressive start. Ah, finally, Black Beauty gets an actual hit. <laughs> an onion Guira dive to come, but yep, that'll remove the Earth Barrier. Oh, that's a tie, but remember, Plasma Anchor is a factor. Yep, here it comes. Plasma Anchor is going to finish off the Steg. Black Beauty working their way back into this contest after a very slow start, we got to be honest. Don't think we expected Gold to come out the blocks flying as fast as they did. Given how, given how they've started tournament matches so far. Right, coming in next for Gold, we've got the Acrocamphosaurus. Now, this Acrocamphosaurus has proven to be effective, and if it can get past the Brachyceratops, which looks likely, it will have type advantage over Black Beauty's third dino, which is Ace Dino Tector. But it is a Dino Tector, so that could work in Black Beauty's favour because it could fill up the Dino Tector bar. But, well, we got Brachyceratops to get through first. Oh, that's a tie. That's another tie. That's another Plasma Anchor. Black Beauty chipping away at Gold's lead here. The Plasma Anchors, the Blitz Effects, the Terrain Advantage really helping them here. Ooh, that's a crit on the board. And look at this. Black Beauty really coming back into this contest. And now has the lead for the first time in this match. Okay, I think... Oh, no. No, they can still get a Plasma Anchor off. Ooh, but that's going to be a tie. And the Brachyceratops survived. Wow, this little Terrier is doing amazing. Well, it has type advantage over this Amplosaurus, but I don't think that's going to matter because it's on such low health. <laughs> but, yeah, coming in third for gold, we've got Amplosaurus. And, well, after a strong start, gold really struggling at the minute. Momentum is definitely with Black Beauty. Okay, there's a hit. Oh, the freaking Dino Stuffer. <laughs> Oh, they get the hit for it. The dino stuff is going to stop that. That could be crucial come this match's end game, mind. Bear that in mind. Okay, there's a hit. It's a water sword. And finally, the Brachyceratops goes down. But wow, he did amazing work picking up Eocarcaria Slack. Right, coming in third for Black Beauty, we've got Ace Dino Tector. Well, the deficit isn't as big as I thought it was going to be for Black Beauty, yeah? And in fact, they do have a narrow lead. Will we see Dino Tector in this match? I highly doubt it. But you never know. If we get a couple of ties, we might see it. You know, it has gone quiet on the Dino Tector front. You know, in the first couple of matches of this tournament. We saw loads of Dino Tector in Spectral Armor, but now we're not seeing it as much. But that's a massive crit from Black Beauty. Oh, that's another crit. Oh, his gold running out of steam. Well, that's the losing bonus point secured. And those two crits probably guarantee we won't see Dino Tector. Ooh, hello. Gold not beaten yet. Amplosaurus getting a crit of his own. Oh, but the Dino Illusion gets triggered. <laughs> now, what's interesting is that this Amplosaurus does have Ocean Panic. 
if it can get off an ocean panic, I think it gets rid of the Dino Illusion, but the Light Recovery is coming in to add insult to injury. Yeah, this is going to be a real tough ass now for Gold to come back from this. One hit from Black Beauty will do it. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. Can Gold at least get a losing bonus point out of this? Oh, that's a time. Oh, needed the ocean panic. Needed it there. Ooh, hello. That's another crit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that Dino Illusion is probably going to kill any chance Gold had of winning this match. Because, you know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, look, we got the Dino Tector. You know what? Gold put up a really good fight there. I know they lost, but I'd probably say that's been their best showing so far in the tournament. If i got to be honest. In the sense that all their dinosaurs contributed. Except for the Acro. You know, the Stego showed its strength. Acro didn't get a hit, I don't think. And Ampelosaurus showed its worth. And they do get a losing bonus point out of that. But it is Black Beauty's victory. And they go 4-0 in this tournament. And well... It's very hard to look past them for the knockout rounds now. That's probably going to see them through, to be honest. Okie dokie, on to match number three. Okie dokie, in the right corner for conciliatory past, we have got an irritator. And well, this irritator has certainly been an irritant for the team for combatants in Group A so far. As Dexin, Asta can attain to. And, uh, some, and um, Gold. Dino Slash! Right, in the blue corner, for Raybone, we have got Paris Dino Tector. Um, it's been a patchy start from Raybone, as we should say. But a win here would really get him in the mix of that top four. In fact, a, and a win for Conciliatory Past would start to put some distance between them and the bottom four as well, so pivotal of the game this could be. Right, we've got no terrain advantages. Well, yet. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's irritating to get in the first shot on the Mort match. The tiebreaker coming in as well. Attack boots activating. Another good start from Conciliatory Pass. Ooh, he's going for the warden effect. Oh, but he doesn't get it that time. Paris calls the bluff. Gonna have some egg attack. Irritate the left with egg on his face after that. Ooh, he's gonna go for it again. Oh, no, he's not going for it again. He gets the tie, but the tiebreaker does come into effect there. Oh, that's gonna be a... Big crit from the Irritator. A new maxed up attack power now, courtesy of the attack boost. Big shot there from Conciliatory Pass, and he almost killed it! Jeez, that was a lot of damage. This Irritator man has been so impressive. And well, yet again, Conciliatory Pass going into the lead. Actually, I don't think this Irritator has died once to the other guy's first dinosaur. It's always taken two and, well, to some extreme, three to bring it down. Crazy. Right, coming in next for Raybone, we've got Alpha Rajasaurus. It'll have tight disadvantage against the Irritator, which, given how well the Irritator has performed this tournament, is going to be a big problem. Going for paper. Oh, that's a tie. It's not what you want if you're Raybone. Oh, if he had got that crit with the attack buff and the warding effect as well, that could have been massive from Irritator. But the oh, oh, we still survived. 
Dare I say it, that might have been lethal. Like, no joke. Because it's, it, it's, it, it's irritating, it's buffed up in attack power. But, alas, it is going down. Right, coming in next for conciliatory pass, we got the Cantororus. Well, not much to say about this little fella, to be honest. It's mainly been the Irritator that's been impressive. But this guy's had his moments as well in round one against Aster, it really performed. Interesting moveset as well, no earth moves. Not what you expect to see. Ooh, there's a crit. That's a dino swing. Gonna spin the Rajasaurus round into the boulder. Oh, that's a tie. The Magma Blaster getting triggered here. Okay, the Blunder effect removing that Scissors move. Ooh, but it's Rajasaurus getting the Magma Blaster off. Now, remember, Conciliatory Pass does get terrain advantage in this match with their Triceratops. So do bear that in mind. Oh, but that's a strike back from the Decanturus. And that should be all she wrote for Rajasaurus. Okie dokie, coming in third for Raybo, we have got Super Ferrazinosaurus. Await the mode on three. No secret moves. But that's not always the worst thing in the world. Utah! Ooh, but that's a crit from Desantorurus. Raybo needs to kill this Desantorurus quick, because the, when the Triceratops comes in, it is going to get a hit. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of damage. Hang on, what type is this? That, that was loads of damage. Oh, that's not good. That might actually do it for Conciliatory Pass. That might get them the win. Oh no, he missed. Yeah, that's probably going to guarantee the victory. Oh no, it's not. Archaeopteryx charm coming in clutch there, getting rid of the poison. And Raybo gets the next hit and a recovery and a galley rush. That Archaeopteryx charm could be massive in the context of this match. The Sanjurus goes down, but it did do its work. Light recovery coming in here as well. Okay, with everything said and done, Raybone's not in a bad place. Right, coming in next for conciliatory patch. We got the Super Triceratops Awaker Mode on three. It does have terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit, which will be a lightning sphere. But an interesting turn of events, because after this hit, it will be awakening time for the ferry. And that awakened hit can swing this match in Raybone's favour. Well, just when I thought conciliatory pass was home and hose, Raybone pulls a move like that out of his, uh, out of thin air. But Raybone does need this next hit. And gets the next hit. Another recovery coming. Another galley rush. Badoosh. That could be a big shot from Raybone. And it does guarantee the losing bonus point. Because this trike does not have any healing moves. And actually, look at that. Oh, well, I said it would put Raybone in the lead. But all it achieved was healing it up. And then it lost half health because of the awakening mode. <laughs> Oh, that's a tie, but ties do favour conciliatory past. It does have the tie attack. That's another tie. Can't afford another one of them. Oh, that tie's gonna do it. And it's conciliatory pass by the skin of his chin. Getting the win in the end. Only just though. Ultra Lord really struck back hard there. And they do get a hard-earned losing bonus point. But it is conciliatory pass going free and one.
And let's be honest, I didn't expect that from them in this tournament. I thought they, in all honesty, I thought they'd be the whipping fodder of this group. <laughs> right, now then, on to a monumental, massive main event for our two combatants. Alrighty then, in the red corner, for Asta, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Well, Asta finally got their first win of the tournament last time out against Gold. In a rather dominant display, this Kentrosaurus really put a shift in. But, in the blue corner, for Crown Over, we have got Allosaurus Atrox, and well... 0-3 so far, which is really unexpected. And if they lose this match as well, then they be they're gonna be cut adrift with three to play. It's gonna be a really big ass to get in the top four if they do get beat here. So I feel like this is bigger for Crown Over than it is for Aster. But a massive match for these two nonetheless. And it's Asta getting the first shot. It's a banana surprise. Surprise! Oh, the move removal didn't happen, so that's good news there. Oh, oh, here comes another one. A strong start from Asta. Are they getting their mojo back in this tournament? And Crown over yet again going. Oh, there's another hit. Oh, they poisoned it as well. Well, it doesn't matter. And an earth barrier as well, because, you know, got to add insult to injury. But, yeah, this is a really good start from Asta. Not a good start for Crown over. And, oh, wow. No hits. Didn't even put a scratch on the Kentrosaurus. <laughs> he fucking poisoned it again. Right, let's see if Sukamimus has any better luck. Well, he's done a little bit with Sukamimus. And he's going to have to do some work here because Asta's built himself a decent lead here. And this Kentrosaurus, it does have the Earth Barrier protecting it as well. Crown Oak just needs to get a hit. Just get some hits on the board. Okay, there's a tie. At least it landed some damage. Wow, there's a hit. It'll, that'll remove the earth barrier. And it'll trigger the Futaba cannon as well, so that could come in handy. Oh, here's another hit. Crown over finally landing some shots in this match. Oh, but Asta comes back with that banana surprise. Should have kept going rock. I was working. Oh, and then another earth barrier as well. Asta tightening the screw yet again. Oh my, another banana surprise. I had a banana earlier. Wasn't that big though. Oh, and it poisoned it too. Add insult to injury, why don't you? And, well, Asta's 2 0 up yet again. In fact, I think they have an even bigger lead than they did last time. Oh, and now they're going to have tight disadvantage to deal with now, Crown Over. But they do get terrain advantage because his Calcinosaurus is lightning. So he will get terrain advantage, so that will get rid of the Earth Barrier at least. But, yeah, it's. Crown over flirting with disaster yet again. They've had a really tough tournament so far. You know, like compared to last year, well, they won seven. Seven in a row before getting knocked out by Dino Hunter in the quarters. And even that match they probably should have won. But this year has just been oh, it's just been so bad. But come on, they can do this. If as I say, if they can come back from this scenario. It could be massive for them. Ah, gonna give Aster a taste of his own medicine, I see. Well, the Kentrosaurus is finally dead. Right, coming in next for Aster, we've got a Megalosaurus. 
Well, for Asta, you're probably eyeing up the bonus point win at this point. But for Crown Ovi, you're just looking for a glimmer of light to, get, to just ignite your tournament. This is not good. As another crit. It looks like it's going to be Asta's day again. And is it going to be the boat? Can they get the bonus point victory? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Well, Asta again reigniting their tournament and crowning over really, really struggling. That was a tough watch. <laughs> right, we'll have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, it's as you were for Group A. We have Black Beauty at the top of 13 points and um, there's six points clear of Aster with three to play. So, you know, they're still catchable, but I'm pretty confident in saying that these two are going to be through. Sunlight Rabbit 4-0. What a tournament they're having on 12 points. Conciliatory Pass, the outsider in this group on 10 points. Then we have Dex in on 8, Asta getting that massive win on 7 points, Gold on 4, Raybone getting a losing bonus point on 3, and poor old Crown over stuck on the solitary point, and 7 points adrift of Dex in 4th. Now there's 3 to play, there is still time, but yeah, you feel unless Crown over gets 3 wins with some bonus points, that's probably going to be it for them. It's still possible, but yeah, they, they are outsiders now. Right, so I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.